Hi guys, Eric from 7 Circle Hobbies. Today we're going to cover her starts molds 220, 226, and 240 to make an adventure board. I glued the two roof tile pieces to a thin piece of cardboard and then painted it black just to make sure no one could see it from the underside. In this painting I used a burnt sienna as a base and moved it up from there. Uh, I think I might go back to my burnt umber as my base color, but uh, pretty interesting how this turns out. I also used a cheap dollar store uh, makeup brush to apply uh, the dry brush coat. I wasn't sure what the reds would look like out of the bottle, but I went with the dark red to keep everything kind of muted here. I'm just building one side of the post and then I'm going to make a mirror image making sure everything is on a right angle and the beam across the top will fit smoothly. And then paint all the metal pieces in a gun metal. And here's where I encountered a serious design flaw. I hadn't counted on uh, the actual board itself uh, being glued between the two posts and putting that back foot on really made it uh, difficult to do. So I took it off, luckily the glue hadn't dried yet, uh, pressed the board against the two pieces and then used some weight to hold it in place. Once that was dry, I just put a little glue on top and added the cross beam and I was almost finished. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please help me uh, grow this channel by liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss anything. To get the smaller roof, I just took uh, one of the larger wood shingle pieces uh, and split it in half. So that's two pieces that I broke into four different pieces to make a smaller roof.
actually turned out to be one of my favorite parts of this build. Uh, what you see here is an old white t-shirt that I uh, soaked in Eileen's tacky glue and some water solution and let set overnight, pulled it out and uh, it dried really nice and you can actually make some really interesting parchment effects here. So I just cut a couple pieces off and ragged the sides just a little bit. warm buff and then after that hit it with some black ink let all of it dry and then you can make your wanted posters Once that was all dry, I used an ultra fine point sharpie to go ahead and make my wanted posters and other uh, adventure hooks to glue to my poster. Thanks for watching, please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.